This is what you will see when you first install MATLAB. The MATLAB graphical user interface is divided into five parts. The first part is the directory browser. Here you can select the files and go through folders. Using the left arrow you can come back to the previous folder. The second important section is the command window. This is the place where we will type in our commands. The third is the workspace. It shows us the variables, the name of the variables, the value, the minimum value and the maximum value. Since we do not have any variables till now, it does not show anything. The fourth is the command history. These are the commands which I had initially typed. And the fifth is the toolbar. The toolbar gives you the general options which most of the programs give you file, new, open, close, edit, debug, parallel, desktop, window. Help. Now help and doc documentation of MATLAB is a very important and useful feature. First of all, let's write some simple commands. Let us define a variable a equals to 5. You can see that a new entry in the workspace was made. The variable a, the value is 5. The minimum value is 5 and the maximum value is 5. However, suppose I define another variable b equals to 2, 3, 4, 5. We can see that another variable b has been added. The value is 2, 3, 4, 5. The minimum is 3 and the maximum is 5. Now suppose we want to list all the variables that we have. We can use the command whos. It shows me all the variables, their sizes, the bytes used, the class it is, and the attributes. Now let me clear this window with the clc command. Here we, I have a clean window. Notice that in the command history, all the commands that I just typed have been added a equals to 5, then b equals to 2, 3, 4, 5, whos and clc. Now let us go to the help section. MATLAB offers you two very important features, the product help and the function browser. First let us explore the product help. This is the main window of the product help. You can select all the toolboxes that you want. For basic MATLAB features, we can go to MATLAB, getting started. MATLAB help and documentation provides very important features like sample codes, examples, etc. Mm, let us start with examples. Mathematics, constructing a simple matrix. Here, this is something that we just did. A simple matrix A equals to 12, 6, 2, 9, 3, minus 8, 22. It's a horizontal vector A. In MATLAB, most of the variables are always in matrix form. In fact, everything is considered a matrix. A variable, a single variable, say A equals to 5, would be considered as a matrix of 1 cross 1 dimensions. All right. So here you can find out all the commands. Let me search for a command, say, WHOS. Here is the WHOS command which I just used. List names and types of top level data logging objects and simulating data log. This is a common syntax for all MATLAB toolboxes. Okay. The WHOS function here. The WHOS command can give you an idea of the memory used by the MATLAB variables. Who, this is what we just saw when we had done this. Okay, so you can use this help document help in documentation for any command reference to any command that you would want, uh, or any new examples or codes that you want to look at. Now let us look at the second important feature, the function browser. Function browser is a quick tool which allows you to surf to the functions available with a particular utility. For example, let us search the same thing, whos. It's a quick search tool 
and here it is if you take your mouse over whos we'll show you whos list variables in workspace like this you can search for any command let's say i want to take an input so here are the several possible inputs that I can use I have input request user input keyboard so all these so this is how we can search for functions or commands that we would require so this was the first basic lecture on MATLAB